Hello, hello, Phil family. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Um, I'm wearing like a summer outfit for some reason. You know, we love that. Um, it's like 30 degrees outside and snowed yesterday and getting a phone call. Okay, they hung up. Anyway, today I wanted to talk. Okay, I'm like not even in the middle. Hello. I guess I can move my chair. I could do that. Today I wanted to do somewhat of a story time just about like living alone and what that was like. So for those of you who don't know, I'm married now. I got married in January, so it's been almost 10 months. And before I got married, I bought a house in September and I got married in January. So I lived alone for four, almost five months. And I just kind of wanted to talk about what that was like because also, I feel like it was different than just living alone in like an apartment because I was in a three bedroom house by myself and it was like a little scary, but uh, let's just talk about that experience. So basically, um, quick background story. I moved out of my parents' house when I was 17. I moved to Utah, which is where I'm living now. But then I decided to move back home around like April. So I only lived out there for like four months. I lived with my cousins. So I hadn't lived alone yet. I moved back into my parents' house until I could figure out like if I wanted to buy a house or just get an apartment or if I was gonna move away or stay or whatever. Anyway, I decided to buy a house. So I closed on the house like the first week of September, maybe the last week of August, somewhere in there. And I lived alone in a three bedroom house by myself and it was a little scary, but it's kind of weird because I used to be a very outgoing person. I loved being around people and I, I still kind of am, but I never wanted to be home. I never wanted to be alone. I always liked having people around me. But once I lived alone, I truly valued that time alone and like didn't want to go hang out with people. I didn't want to go to anyone's house or do anything. I was like, I have this whole house. I have it to myself and I just want to chill. And I also think things would have been a lot more scary if I didn't have a cat. So I got my cat Ace, he's a Bengal cat, in like June, yeah in June when I lived at my dad's house. And I think the cutest thing ever was like, um, I'm very protective of Ace so he would stay just in my room, which I had a really big room at my dad's house so it was fine but he, it was just me and him in that room. And then when I bought a house, I was like, Ace, you get a whole house now. And so I bought him like lots of toys and he had so much space to explore. And it made me so happy. And I made like a whole room, like his room for a little bit. And it was just so much fun. And I honestly really value that time that I had when it was just me and my cat, because I learned a lot. I learned how to uh, adult and like grew up a lot. I feel like in that time, because I had to figure out how to do things by myself and, uh, you know, adult things. <laughs> and not only was I moved out of my house, um, well, for the second time, but I was living alone. So it's kind of hard when you live alone because you have to worry about maintenance and bills and all that stuff, just you, just yourself. And so it was a little stressful, but it was a really good learning experience. But let's talk about the scary side of it. So at night, like houses make noises, as you know, like the, the fridge will start making noises, like all this stuff. I was terrified. Like for the first probably like two months, I would lock my master bedroom door when I slept even though like my garage was shut my garage door was locked my front door was locked my back door was locked all the windows were locked but I still locked my master bedroom because I was just like ah, I'm scared honestly it was probably smart because you never know what's gonna happen but if I didn't have ace I think it would have been a lot scarier because if I heard a noise I was like oh it's just ace it's just my cat even if it wasn't it I just blanked it on my cat and I'd be like yeah I'm good I'm good <laughs> and luckily I did live like two minutes from my brother's house, five minutes from my dad's, five minutes from, at the time, my boyfriend's parents' house, but uh, now he's my husband. And um, so that was nice knowing that people lived close, but it was still a little scary. Um, I introduced myself to all my neighbors so I could kind of, you know, see who I was living by. And everyone was super nice. I had, I had great neighbors, never had any issues with my neighbors. And uh, they all had like kids, which made me feel safe. It was like they all played in the street. And it was kind of like, it wasn't a neighborhood, but it was just like a, kind of like a hidden street. So that was pretty nice to feel like safe and there wasn't really ever any crime in the area so that also made me feel really safe um let's talk about a scary little story that happened one night and i actually vlogged about this at the time um you can probably go find the vlog but i was at 
my fiance's house, his parents' house, and we were hanging out there on Christmas Eve, I believe. Yeah, Christmas Eve. We were hanging at his parents' house. Everyone had like opened one present. And then Dallin was taking me back to my house. This is also a really awesome thing, and I'll talk about it in a second. Dallin would drive me home every single night because I was scared to go home alone. But um, we'd go back to my house, and my front door was open. Not just like unlocked, just open and i was first off terrified that my cat had gotten out like that was my first thought like is there a robber in my house i don't care where's my cat luckily ace is much very much so a homebody and he loves me so he did not leave the house he was still just chilling inside just vibing i was like okay that's a good sign um we checked the whole house me and dallin walked through it we looked in every closet every room every bathroom like everywhere no one was in the house and then i came to the realization that if my front door is not locked it just opens like the wind can just push it open i guess it's like not aligned right i think we actually fixed that now but back then that was a thing and i guess i forgot to lock my front door because i never really unlocked it so i assume i checked the mail left it unlocked and then left and i only did that this one time and my door was open it was christmas eve i was honestly just terrified so i locked up and actually ended up spending the night at my fiance's house or at his parents house on Christmas Eve because I was just too scared. I was like, I'm not gonna deal with that tonight. <laughs> and in my room, I would keep some weapons. I had um, pepper spray, of course, but my mother-in-law got me, um, what's it called? Like wasp repellent, because it basically does the same thing as pepper spray, like hurts the eyes, you know, but it actually sprays like 30 feet, I think. So I could literally be on my bed. I could grab it and spray someone if they were at the door and it would hit them. So um, I had that next to my bed and uh, that was about it. So, and then my cat who's not vicious at all. So it's fine. Um, but I honestly think it was such a good learning experience living alone. I feel like I grew up a lot and like kind of got to know myself a lot more because I spent a majority of my time alone. And although my boyfriend and then fiance would come over all the time and hang out a lot and I'd go to his house a lot, I still was alone. A lot because I lived alone but that's fine it was honestly really fun and I enjoy that time in my life do I want to go back absolutely not but I did enjoy it <laughs> it's kind of weird because most like 18 year olds have roommates or they still live at home and I was like 18 living by myself so it was a little scary I just keep saying the same thing but you know gotta get the point across oh something else just super fun about living alone is I got to decorate the whole house however I wanted like no one had a say in it because I bought it and I bought all the stuff and it was all mine and I decorated the living room how I wanted and the kitchen in my master bedroom and luckily when Dallin moved in after we got married he, he doesn't really care as long as he can decorate his studio he doesn't care about decor as long as things aren't like super girly which I'm not really into super girly anyway so it's fine but so that was fun being able to decorate a whole house by myself just like the independence that i felt like i literally owned this whole house lived there by myself and it, you could definitely feel the same independence literally just by even by having an apartment you don't i'm not saying like go out buy a house by yourself not my advice but i feel like it's really like good and you get to know yourself a lot and have a lot of independence when you live alone so i mean i'm not gonna go out and say i recommend it to everyone because it's not for everyone but uh it, def it definitely helps like get to know yourself i guess i don't know i i did have fun it was a little scary the only times i was really scared though was at night of course so every night i would pretty much be hanging out at my boyfriend and then fiance's house i'm just gonna say down so i was hanging out at Dallas house all the time and he would drive me home literally every night so usually i'd have him pick me up take me to his house so then he could drive me home at night or he's so nice i would drive my car over and he would follow me home in his car and like kind of tuck me in at night because like here i am like strong independent woman in. okay but i need my dallin to come tuck me in <laughs> i like i really felt like i needed it because i was always just so scared like you never know like someone could have broke in and i'd come home and i wouldn't be able to defend myself and it'd be scary so i'd always have him come in and we'd check all the rooms and then we'd like cuddle in bed until um we were both so tired and then send him home but so there's kind of what it was like uh living alone i didn't want to talk about it until obviously i didn't live alone anymore i didn't oh, okay here's a tip if you do live alone especially if you are a young female do not tell anyone you live alone don't tell your neighbors you live alone don't tell your man man don't tell anyone like if someone knocks on your door and is like oh are you alone say no i always did that 
no matter who it was, FedEx man, people knocking on my door, never told anyone I lived alone. All my neighbors thought that Dallin lived with me because whenever I met them all, they asked if I was the only one there and I said, no, my boyfriend lives with me. He did not live with me, but it's just good. Not that I don't trust them, but I mean, they're strangers. They're my neighbors, I don't know them. And just always don't tell people you live alone and don't publicize that you live alone. Although a lot of you guys knew I lived alone, which is very, also very scary because I have this following on the internet and everyone on the internet pretty much knew I lived alone, but I tried to make it very public that I almost always had Dallin at my house. Anytime I ever had to have like a repairman or anyone come drop anything off, I was never alone. I always made sure someone was there because that's just really scary. You don't want people to know that you're alone. Even if you are, fake it. Be like, oh yeah, someone's in the back room or uh, someone's on their way or you know, something like that. That's just some good advice out there for all my ladies. I now do feel a little relieved that I don't live alone because although it was fun and the independence and all that, I really appreciate having someone in my life and obviously I'm married, so um, I like living with my husband. <laughs> I guess there's me talking about what it was like to live in a whole house by myself at 18 and how it affected my life. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any more questions, you can comment them down below and I'll try to reply and answer them. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed hearing about this and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.